channel. My name is Destiny Yummy. So for today's video, I want to show you guys the thing that's been overtaking the natural hair YouTubes, which is temporary hair wax. Now, you guys know I love my colors and I've been contemplating going blonde for so long and I just haven't had the guts to do it because I've been growing out my hair and I just don't want to mess it up. So this is the perfect alternative if it works. Now I have tried this once, meaning literally this morning. So I got a little bit of insight of how to make it go better. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use this to turn my hair completely blonde. So this brand is the Mofajang brand. Um, there are, I think like three different brands online. This is the one I'm using. I'll link the Amazon in the description. But basically, it comes in this little tub. Clearly, you can see from just this morning, that's how much I used. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see that, but I used about a quarter of it this morning and it was not enough blonde. It kind of looked like highlights rather than completely dyeing my hair blonde. So I'm really gonna go ham and probably use this entire container to really get that blonde look. So, show you guys what I'm doing. I've already washed my hair. Um, this is like a wash and go, but I didn't put any gel in it. This is literally just conditioner and you really want to do this on wet hair because if you do it on dry hair, it looks crunchy. It looks nasty. So do it on wet hair. I'm just going to do a quick section off and pull some of this hair on the bottom down. So something I've learned just that quickly is that when you're going through and adding in the wax, you do not want to rake through your hair with the wax. You want to go ahead and do like a quick finger detangle first. And then when you have the wax, so hold on, let me get some. Put it in your hand like this and then literally just smooth it on. You really just want to coat it without trying to rake it through because you're wasting product if you're raking it through. So it's going to go on a lot better <laughs> if you just cake it on. So this is how it looks, just completely wet with the wax just put on. Um, I'm gonna come back once it dries so you guys can see the final product. One thing I do wanna say about this process is that you really, really, really do not wanna wear what you're gonna be wearing. 
um, out because <laughs> this will destroy your clothes. Um, I'm sure it washes out, but don't wear what you're going to be wearing because this is going to get everywhere. So you really want to wait until this dries before you put on your outfit that you're going to wear. So I'll be back once it dries to show you guys how it looks. All right, so you guys, my hair is mostly dry right now. It's not fully dry because my hair just takes forever to dry, but it's mostly dry. And here are some things I've learned. Number one, um, you want to be careful about putting the dye really close to your roots because I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but I just have yellow tint all the way across my roots. So I'm going to go in with a washcloth and just take away some of the dye, especially from the baby hair area. You don't really just want yellow baby hairs. So I'm just going to go through really quick and clean that up. Okay, and number two, this is going to get literally everywhere. I said your shirt, um, it's on my fingers, even as I touch my hair and arrange it. Um, it's on the back of my neck. It dyed my blow dryer as I was drying my hair. So just really, really, really be careful. And as I said before, do not wear what you're gonna be wearing while you do this. So I'm also gonna go in with this washcloth and just uh, get my face <laughs> really quick. Um, and then the back of my neck because it is everywhere. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Can you see all this orange dye? Um, all that being said, I love this. This is so cute. I cannot wait for it to fully, fully dry so I can actually put on something cute and go out in it. Um, as I said before, I wore this earlier today, so it does fully dry. Once it dries, it stops transferring. It's just getting to that point is a challenge, especially as curly haired girls, our hair takes forever to dry. Um, in addition to that, it also takes longer to dry with the wax on top of it. So really add in some extra drying time because you're gonna need it. Um, beyond that, my initial thoughts are that this wax is super cheap. It was like six dollars um on amazon and i still have enough for a third dyeing so this is gonna last for a few days it's gonna wash out and then i could do this again so three times six dollars that's really not bad for um a temporary dye in my opinion so yeah i really loved how this turned out especially because i can just wash it out it's not gonna stay like this and the fact that i can kind of layer in how much color I want to go on because I've used temporary dyes before, uh, mainly the spray ones. And those, it's really, really hard to control how much goes on. You really just kind of spray it and hope it goes where you want it to go. So this one, you had much more control with how much color you want to put on, where you want the color to go. So you can even do like highlights if you wanted. You could do half your head if you wanted, or you can do like a full blonde. So definitely want to try out the other colors that they have in the series but as far as the gold blonde one goes i love this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this too and i'll see you next time bye you can go ahead i'm oh, sorry I'm trying to sneak to the kitchen so i can make food oh it looks so pretty thanks it does have kind of a lime green tint to it but i like it. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I think it's inevitable trying to be like do blonde with really dark hair. I'm a big fan though. Do this one. Aww.